Well, as we close the book on the year of 2021, we take a look back at some of the major headlines here locally, including a couple of weather events and a four-year-old boy named Josh who went viral. At the beginning of 2021, many people had a renewed hope in the fight against COVID-19. More and more vaccines were arriving and being administered to medical personnel, as well as staff and residents of long-term care facilities. But shipments of the vaccines were limited. As the year went on, more and more people became eligible to receive their shot, and the fight against the virus continued. With the vaccine rollout, life was beginning to look much more normal than it did in 2020. Memorial Stadium was rocking again with fans at Husker football games and an incredible Garth Brooks concert in August that was the country superstar's last show before canceling the rest of his tour. And speaking of the Huskers, a major headline for them this year was athletic director Bill Moose stepping down from his position. His replacement? Trev Alberts, a former All-American linebacker for the Huskers, who was previously the athletic director at Nebraska Omaha. Alberts played for the Huskers from 1990 to 93 and was the number five overall pick in the 1994 NFL Draft. Nebraska volleyball was also making the headlines in 2021, battling through the NCAA tournament as the number 10 seed, knocking off number two Texas and number three Pittsburgh, making it all the way to the championship game once again. They faced number four Wisconsin in an all Big Ten matchup, but unfortunately lost a hard fought game in five sets. In weather headlines, a historic snowfall that many people will never forget. On January 25th, Lincoln tallied 14 and a half inches of snow, the second snowiest day on record. Then in the next couple days, we received about another inch on top of that. LPS students got two snow days in a row. And January 2021 is now the snowiest January on record. Then who could forget the windstorm that blew through in mid-December? 28 tornadoes touched down in Nebraska on December 15th, and Lincoln recorded a 93 mile per hour wind gust at the airport. That's as strong as a category one hurricane. We also broke a record that day with a high temperature of 74 degrees. Along with the wind, some parts of the state saw snow, blowing dust and smoke. In crime news in 2021, Aubrey Trail became the 12th inmate on Nebraska's death row for the murder and dismemberment of Lincoln woman Sydney Loof. Now, there is no guarantee he will be executed, as Nebraska does not currently have the drugs for a lethal injection. Trail's accomplice, Bailey Boswell, was not sentenced to death, but instead given life in prison. Protesters surrounded the UNL fraternity of Phi Gamma Delta after allegations of sexual assault. UNLPD says the alleged assault happened between a 17-year-old female UNL student and a 19-year-old male student. The fraternity was later suspended through 2026. No arrests have been made in the case. In viral news in 2021, we all quit said the employees of a Burger King in North Lincoln, a photo of the sign going viral on social media. Two former employees told Channel 8 that management was the reason people quit. They said they were understaffed and working in a kitchen with no air conditioning in the heat of summer. And finally, the world fell in love with little Josh, the four-year-old who won the Josh fight in Lincoln. It's where dozens of people with the name Josh gathered to duke it out with pool noodles. The winner getting to keep their name with everyone else having to change theirs. It was all in good fun and attracted hundreds of spectators. At the end, four-year-old Josh Vinson Jr. was handed a Burger King crown, a champion's belt, and a tiny trophy and then hoisted on the shoulders of the other Joshes with the biggest smile on his face.